everybody, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my August wrap-up and my September TBR. So in the month of August, I had a pretty productive reading month. I read a total of five books, and all of them I gave really good ratings. So, uh, yeah, three of them are part of the same series, and the other two, are, I believe, are standalone. So let's just jump right in. So the first book I read was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. This is book number five in the Harry Potter series. Loved it. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. And, uh, yeah, I enjoyed rereading it again because I reread this five, five times now. Yeah, so, yeah, I read that. The next book and the last book are also part of Harry Potter. So the next one I read was Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, again, by J.K. Rowling. This is book number six in the series. It's also my favorite book in the series. Really enjoyed rereading it. Gave it a five out of five stars. And of course, the last book is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, also by J.K. Rowling. Again, uh, again, this is the finale uh, book to the series before we get to The Cursed Child. I gave this a five out of five stars. Highly recommend the series if you guys have never read it. It's kind of perfect for all ages, and I didn't read it until I was a teenager, but I still enjoy it to this day. The next book was sent to me for review by Penguin Random House, and that book is The After Party by Yana Prickrell. This is a collection of poetry, and I don't read a lot of poetry, and I really did enjoy this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Highly recommend you guys check it out. It was released back in June, and I really, really liked it. And the last book I read this month was the Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of August. That book was Baby Doll by Holly Overton. This is a psychological thriller. And I don't read a lot of psychological thrillers, but I did like it. I really did enjoy this book. I give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Highly recommend it. You guys go check it out. So those are all the books I read in the month of August. And now we're going to move on to the books I plan on reading in the month of September. Now, a lot of these books are parts of series. Some of them are the first book. Um, three of them are actually part of an entire series or a trilogy, I should say. And then um, a couple of them are standalone, so I was sent for a review. So the first three books are part of the same series, and that is the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lou. So we have Legend, Prodigy, and Champion. This is a dystopian series, and dystopian is actually my favorite genre. I really love reading dystopian books, and I've heard pretty good things about this series. A lot of people seem to really like it, so I thought I'm going to give it a try and see what I think. The next book is a very popular book here on BookTube, and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Now, a lot of people really, really enjoy the series, and it looks really good. It is a fantasy, I believe. And um, I know the fifth book in the series comes out sometime this month. And that book, I love the cover of Empire of Storms, which is the fifth book in the series. It looks really good. So I'm going to give it a try and see what I think for myself. Hopefully I will enjoy it because a lot of people seem to. The next two books were sent to me for review. One of them was sent to me by Griffin Publishing, and the other one was sent to me by um, Blogging for Books and also Penguin Random House. So the first book... Uh, again, was sent to me by Griffin Publishing, and this is The Infinity of You and Me by J.Q. Quarrel. This is a contemporary book, I believe, and this is um, one of the first arcs I actually ever have received, and yes, I love, love, love this cover, um, and yeah, I'm really excited to read this and see what I think. And the other book that was sent to me for review is June by Miranda Beverly Whitmore, now, I love love this cover. I think it's really, really pretty. I love the font that the title and the um, author's name are in. And this is a uh, thriller book, I believe. And it sounds really cool. Um, and I will be checking it out hopefully sometime soon. And the next three books are books I've seen around BookTube lately. So the first book is also... An, I have... Um, another book by her in the pile, and that is Th uh, A Court of Thrones and Roses by Sarah Joy Mass. Now, this is, again, another very popular book here on BookTube. It is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, um, and it looks really good. I really love this cover, um, and I know the second book in the series just came out in, I believe, May, so hopefully I will be reading this probably in the next couple of days or weeks, so yeah. 
The next book I am going to be reading this month is I Am Number 4 by Pedix Lore. I believe this is either a science fiction book or a dystopian. It sounds really cool. Um, I actually really like what they did on the sides. And it just is a series. It's a seven book series, I believe. And I've heard, again, I've heard kind of really good things about this book. And it looks, sound, looks and sounds really cool. So I will be reading this. And the last book I will be reading in the month of... Uh, September is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. This book was turned into a movie about three or four months ago. And the movie looked really cool. Again, I didn't see it, but it looked really cool. And this is a science fiction, alien invasion, might be dystopian book. And it just sounds so cool. I have heard mixed readings about it, but I really do want to read it and see what I think for myself. So those are all the books I will be reading in the month of September and all the books I read in the month of August. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I will have all my social media links in the description box below as always. So you can check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and at Goodreads as well as my blog, which of course is always linked in the description box below as well. And I will see you guys on Monday for another video. I hope you guys have a fantastic Labor Day weekend and I will see you on Monday. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye!